guys, welcome to a Mario Maker 2 glitch tutorial on how to get 2D items in the 3D world. So what you're going to want to do is first make sure that you're in a new level space. Make a new course and make sure it's in the 2D style. It could also be in 3D world to get items to the old styles. And you know what, that's actually a way better way to show this. What you'll see right there on the top right is a glitched item and that's actually frozen coins which is not available in 3D now you can easily see if I put this onto blue toad right now and shoot the frozen coins act perfectly in 3D world now the thing that you want to know is how do I get those into 3D world now as I said earlier it does work from 3D to 2D as well. Uh, just a quick reminder that enemies cannot go through this or else your game will crash. Also, hammer doesn't work. So first of all, get an item that is not in the game style that you want to bring it to. For this case, we are going to use... Let's see... Dash blocks. I recommend putting it in right here, so way it's easy to go to. Now hit L or that button and erase it. What you're gonna want to do now is go to load and load up the exact level space you've been. In. Now, when you're in a 2D style, it's not 3D world. It's as simple as pressing undo. Now, if I go to the area where the dash block is, you can see I've grabbed something. Now, it's not said the voice thing, for some reason, it, the voice works with some things, but if you see me go into play mode and I go... Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot. Since 3D World's ground position is different than Mario World's, it's gonna be right there instead. big oof moment. But anyways, if you start now and you go onto it, what? Oh, it won't let me move it. Alright, let's... Alright, there you go. You can see that it worked exactly like the dash block. Give me a second. Oh, and there's actually a way to save it so you can use it more. As you can see, there's two grounds right here. That's actual ground. And this is the dash block. It will normally copy the icon from your most recently used item into there. But if there's no recently used item, it'll just be a white box. All you have to do is pin it. And then, no matter what, if you go to Super Mario World whatever game style, it'll persist until you switch over back to 3D World. And as you can see, the icons didn't change either. As you can see, it's still the th Super Mario World ground mixed in with the Mario 1 ground. Now, um, some items work perfectly fine, like the dash blocks and 2D and the trees, kind of. But, like, certain things won't work as good. Alright, so uh, one thing I'll mention while uh, doing this, uh, first of all, there's what the icon looks like refreshed with no icon inside of it. Also, too, it's really painful to do this to get to 3D World because it usually takes so long to get a 3D World theme. Um, in case I didn't already tell you, but I probably did, what you gotta do is you gotta keep loading in the same spot over and over again until you get the game style you want. And, oh, finally, 3D World. What I wanted to showcase right here, that's a Goomba shoe. Now, I'm warning you, be prepared for the horrifyingness that you're about to see. That's a shoe Goomba. Goomba shoe, whatever. As you can see, it still bounces around, but the Goomba's like that. It's actually kind of scary. <laughs> 
and you never know where it's gonna be until it lands. So you gotta predict the Goomba's jump bark and stuff. But in case you're wondering, the shoe itself does work fine. Despite not being able to see it, you could still use the shoe. It could still jump, it makes no sound. And it's just a pretty fun glitch to mess around with, and uh, I suggest you try it out as well if you own the game. Uh, yeah, that's that's the glitch tutorial. <laughs> uh, hope you guys use it. Uh, quick thing though, you can't save your levels, they'll corrupt, and yeah. So you can only play around with this in the editor, you can't actually upload the levels, and even if you did and you were able to, Nintendo would remove it, like, fairly quickly, I guess, so, have fun playing around with this, you can't use it in your actual stages, but it is fun to mess around with, there's a bunch of things I can't talk about here, uh, if you want to learn more, watch a video by, like, I Say or something, that's where I learned of this glitch in the first place, or it might have been smashy, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, have fun with this glitch, see you soon, woo.